Hello there, my name is Svetlin Nakov and I'm a software developer and technical trainer with over 20 years of experience. I'm a co-founder of SoftUnique Global, where I teach software engineers and give them a profession and a tech job. In this episode of Dev Concept series, I will talk about HTML forms. I'll explain how to use CAD and POST requests when you submit an HTML form, and I'll explain the action and method attributes in the HTML forms and how data is sent to the web server over the network for processing and how it is encoded by the web browser. Do you enjoy this video lesson? Let me know in the comments below and leave a suggestion on what topic should I cover next. I would love to hear from you. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel because it helps us immensely in reaching more people who can benefit from our free lessons and tips on programming. All right, without further, further ado, let's get into the HTML forms lesson. Now it's time to explain what is the relationship between the HTML forms and the HTTP protocol and how these technologies interact with each other. We shall explain and demonstrate with live examples how HTML forms submit their data to the web server using GET and POST requests and how the submitted data is encoded as query string in the requested URL for HTTP GET and in the request body for HTTP POST. In HTML forms, the action attribute defines where to submit the form data. If we write form action equals to home.html, uh, this means that the fields inside the form will be sent to the home.html uh, script at the server side when the form is submitted. Most HTML forms have the form tag with some uh, action URL, a set of input fields, uh, and a submit button. The submit button sends the form data to the specified URL in the action attribute. We can use relative or full URL. Relative URLs are evaluated relatively to the current URL, which is loaded in the web browser. We can use swashes and the dot dot notation to address the, the different folder or the parent folder or the virtual folder structure at the web server. Full URLs are used to submit the form data to completely different website. Uh, for example, a website may embed an HTML form uh, for a newsletter subscription, which submits its form fields uh, to an external website, which provides uh, email newsletter services. At the example on the screen, we have two HTML pages and a form which holds a submit button. Uh, when the submit button, uh, which has a title go to home page, is clicked, the data from the HTML form in the first page will be sent to the second page, uh, home.html, and the browser will open the second page. In our example, we have no data fields, just the submit button. Let's see a live example how this works. Uh, we open the link from repo it. We have two pages, index.html and home.html. Index.html is the default page at this website. It holds an H empty HTML form. Uh, with submit button and the action of the form is set to home.html. Home.html uh, is the second page uh, which handles the submitted form data from the first page. It just shows welcome home. We click the run button 
uh, to start the sample website. Then we open the website in a separate browser window by clicking the open in new tab uh, button. Uh, this one um, with the arrow. The index HTML page is now displayed in the web browser. We click the go to home page button and the browser opens the home.html uh, page by submitting the form data from the HTML form, which is empty. And that's all for this example. Now let's review another example in which we have a form with a fill. Forms can specify the HTTP method for sending uh, the form data. It can be get or post. Get sends the form data as query string in the URL and post sends the form data in the HTTP request body. We shall see the difference in a few moments through live examples. The first example consists of the HTML form shown at the screen. Uh, it has the method equals get attribute, uh, which uh, this is a simple web form which has a text input field named name and a submit button. The form submits its data to the same page from which uh, the form is loaded because there is no action attribute. Uh, if we run the above example uh, and we enter Peter in the field, the form will send its data in the URL with a query string. The initial URL followed by question mark uh, and followed by name equals Peter. The form field values are sent as sequences of a field equals value token after the question mark in the end of the URL, separated from each other by ampersands and with escaping when needed. I shall explain this URL data encoding format in bigger detail later. We can test this example live at the RepoWid uh, playground. Uh, we open the link to RepoWid and we wait a bit for the project to load. Uh, this sample project consists of a single HTML page. Uh, we click the run button, the green uh, run button and then open the result web page in a new window. Now we enter Peter in the text field and submit the form. The form data name equals Peter uh, is sent to the same page through a URL query string. Now I enter Svetlin space Nakov and submit the form. The form data is encoded uh, as question mark name equals to Svetlin plus Nakov. The space is escaped as plus. If we enter more unusual string like a plus b equals c, it will be encoded as uh, question mark name equals a percent to b b percent three d c. Uh, as we can see, special characters are encoded uh, or escaped using a percentage plus their hex code. 
The space is an exception and may be encoded also as plus. The next example consists of this HTML form on the screen. It is the same form from the previous example, but now it uses method equals post. It's a simple form with a text field named name and a submit button. The form submits its data to the same page without specifying the action attribute. If we run the, the form, fill the name Peter in the text field and submit the form, it will send uh, the following HTTP request. Post the page uh, relative URL space HTTP slash 1.1. Uh, some headers like the content type and uh, which says URL encoded form data and the host name uh, and the HTTP request body uh, holds the submitted form data which is URL encoded as name equals Peter. Let's see wife, the wife example at Repoit. Uh, first, uh, wait for the project to load fully. And we run the example. And we open it in a separate window. Uh, we enter Peter. And we submit the form nothing changes in the URL. This is because the form is submitted by HTTP POST, not by HTTP GET. POST preserves the target URL unchanged and sends the form data in the request body. In contrast, GET encodes the form data in the URL as Query string. This is the difference between get and post. Remember this difference? You may be asked to explain it at your first job interview. Now let's inspect the HTTP request sent by forms using method post. We open Chrome network monitoring tool by clicking F12. Uh, and uh, we choose the network tab. We enter Svetlin uh, Nakov in the form and we submit it. Uh, we can see the HTTP request used for the form submission in the network inspector. We click on it. Uh, we can see in the headers tab uh, the requested URL, this one, and the request method is POST. The form data is shown at, at the end. Click here, view source. Uh, the form data is URL encoded as name plus uh, equals Svetlin plus Nakov. Now let's see an example holding two form fields. We have an HTML form uh, using method POST with two input fields named name and age and the submit button. If we run the form and enter Mariah Smith uh, in the name and field and 19 in the, in the age field, the form submission will create the following HTTP request. Post space slash index.html space HTTP slash 1.1. Some request headers fall at the next few lines, then an empty line. 
and the request body which holds the submitted data. Note how the form data is encoded. Uh, name equals Maria Pua Smith ampersand age equals 19. This is the standard URL encoding used to encode the HTML form fields and URLs. Uh, this encoding can be used for text and other text data, but it does not support file, support, file upload fields. We can overcome this limitation by switching to multi-part encoding and we shall learn about file uploading later. We can demonstrate this code live uh, at repo.it. Uh, wait a bit for the example to load. Uh, we open and run the example. Uh, we show we show the browser's network inspector. Now we type Mariah Smith and age 19 and we submit the form. The HTTP request can be expected in the network inspector. We can view the form data in the request and how it encodes the form fields. Did you like this lesson? Do you want more? Join the learners community at softuni.org. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more free video tutorials on coding, dev concepts and software development. Get access to more free dev lessons and learning resources for developers and get free help from mentors and meet other learners. And all this is free. Yes, it's free. So join now at softunit.org. Also check out my other videos from the Dev Concept series where I explain and demonstrate many concepts and technologies from the software development profession. And type in the comments below if you like some topic and you want me to record a video for it. Goodbye, see you in my next video.